1981 Mercedes SL280 finished in gold. Not a bad looking car, this. All right, also comes with a hard top, but we'll get to that in a minute. We're going to start off at the front end here. Uh, the valance looks pretty good at the front. You can see that. Come a little stone chips, nothing major at all there. Front grille nice and straight, no dents in the chrome work. Onto the front bumper. A little bit on the right hand corner there, if you can see that. Uh, it's just starting to it's bubble up. It's not actually broken through the chrome yet, but you can see underneath the chrome there's something going on there. Uh, notice a little bit on the valance there. See that next to the screw hole. Not those are like for rust. Onto the front arch there. Not too bad at all. Pretty presentable. A little bit starting just on the inside lip there. Oh, that's a stone guard that's been painted over, I believe. Onto the passenger side, no major marks or dents along that door. Rear quarter's pretty good on the rear arch. As you can see, we've got the sills there. It's clearly had a patch there. But that's been done black. Which a lot of these were from the factory as well. So have a look at that there on the rear arch. Looks all right there. A little bit of going on at the back of that arch. On the bumper there. Swing happening there. I don't know what that is. On the rear valance. On that corner. I'm going to go around the, the rear valance first, we'll come back to the top. That looks pretty good in there. Can't see any, any major rot there at all, or rust on that. Rear valance is nice. Onto the boot lid. Which you can see is fairly good. Onto that deck lid there. See the boot there looks a slightly different shade. That boot on the camera, I can't read too. Not that noticeable to eye, but this camera picks things up all the time. On the passenger side there, onto that arch. Go nice and slow so I can see what's going on there. No real visible problems there. A little bit of a mark in the paint. Onto the passenger side, across the sill. See him again there, I think. Must have had something on there. Lower half. On the top of the door. No major dents there. Onto the passenger arch. Little Martin there, something going on there. Right, we'll go back over. On the bonnet. It's not a bad, bad looking car, it presents itself fairly well. You go to about there, looks really nice. It's ready to use in this heat that we're having at the minute. In the interior, a little bit of a mark around that door handle there. Into the interior. This car is showing 82,000 miles. Good mileage for one of these, I've normally done quite a bit by now. Um, factory no back seats. So you've got your little luggage compartment there. Passenger seat's nice. Looks really good with a dark brown interior onto that gold paintwork. Dash is nice, dash top's all good. Mats are nice, factory mats in there. A little bit of a mark on the driver's seat, a little bit of nick out the leather there. But the cloth insert's all nice. There's no major stains at all or marks. All the wood on the centre console's good. Across the dashboard, all nice. Door cards are lovely. On the door check there. Interior is really nice on this car, actually. Yet again, viewing's highly recommend on all of our lots for the 7th of August sale. In the boot, boot carpet's nice and clean. Excuse the dodgy camera work while we go to the boot floor here. So we'll have all the merch. Good on there. I'm just throwing, sorry about that, I'm just throwing the camera around. Uh, full size spare wheel, and um, there's a tool kit in there. Have a little look in the side of here. There you've got the triangle and the jack. Right, top of the boot lid's all nice. We get the roof put up here while that's getting put up. I'm going to go up this hard top. Hard top's finished in a sort of brown metallic 
If you look at the photos on the website, it looks excellent. Um, together with the gold and the interior, that colour just really works with the with the rest of the bodywork. It's got a cream in, uh, headlining on the, on the hard top, which is a nice condition. Heated rear screen plugs there. Little mark on the hard top there, but realistically, how often are you going to use that? It's just kind of something for the winter, really, isn't it? All the chrome works good around it. 